Hello Divination, in this video I'm going to show you how to customize Divi's secondary menu with a call to action. So this is the final design we're aiming to achieve by the end of this video. So if you're looking to generate more signups, offer a discount or have a page you want to direct traffic to, this video is for you. So without wasting a lot of time, let me show you how I managed to create this. Okay, so before we get started, there's a few things that we need to have in place to make sure that this tutorial works fine. Okay, so firstly, we're going to use some CSS code. The link to the post will be provided in the show notes below. Secondly, it's advisable that you use a child theme because by using a child theme, you ensure that when TV has its updates, it does not clear all your code. Okay, so with that out of the way, now, as you can see, we have a default um, header area. So so what we need to do is to add the secondary menu. So to do that, we need to go into our admin dashboard. So I'm going to click on dashboard and then we're going to come all the way down here to Divi and then click on theme customizer. Right. So what we need to do next is to click on header and navigation and let's go to our header elements. So the first thing we need to do here is to add our phone number. So I'm just going to add in a phone number here and don't try to call it because it's a fake number. <laughs> okay. I want to add, add my email address. Okay, so now that we have that in place, make sure that um, this option to show social icons is not checked. So I'm going to click the back button and then we're going to go into our secondary menu and we're going to make some adjustments. Here we need to just make sure the text is 14 pixels and then also um, it's all caps. And then here at the background color, I've just used a customized uh, hexadecimal color, but you can use whatever color you want to match your brand. Okay, so uh, those are the only changes that we need to do for now. And then also we need to make sure that uh, this is set to full width. Okay, so now that we have our, all our settings, I'm going to click on save and publish. So if I refresh the page, you can see that these are the changes that we've made and it's also full width. So let's go ahead and close this. So what we need to do next is to locate the header.php file. So I'm going to come here to appearance and then click on editor. So here I'm going to find my header.php. Okay, so now that I have uh, the header.php selected, what we need to do is to locate this code. So I'm just going to do a quick search for it. So we can see here it's et hyphen secondary hyphen menu. So this is what you need to locate. So what we need to do next is to enter this code above the secondary menu. So I'm just going to paste it like that. So what you need to do here where you have this pound sign, this is where you'd link your page to where you want this click here to be directed to. So for now, I'm just going to leave it as it is, but you can choose either an internal page on your website or an external page. Okay. So once you've entered all that, all you need to do now is to click on update file. So now let's open a new tab and let's take a look if that has made a change. So here I'm going to refresh the page. And you can see we have the click here, right here at the top next to the email address. So what we need to do next is to add the code that's going to stylize that call to action. So I'm going to come here to theme options and then we're going to scroll all the way down until we find custom CSS. I'm going to click in the custom CSS and enter this code. Okay. So with that code entered, I'm just going to click on save changes and then let's refresh our page. Fantastic. So now you can see that our call to action is clear. We also have a hover effect uh, here. So when you click it, it will link to uh, where you've set it up in the header.php file. So there you have it. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do subscribe on our social media platforms. We are producing daily video content similar to what you've seen today. So by signing up, you'll be sure to be notified every time we release new videos. Until next time, thanks for watching and see you soon.